Hi. Today we are going to look at rushers when it comes to brewing and extracting a cup of coffee. Why rushers this time? There's been a contemplating question whereby different baristas, clients and coffee shop owners have been asking me how I come up with these numbers or figures when I'm trying to brew a cup of coffee. And this basically happens when I'm making a craft brew. What do we mean by craft brew? Basically these are manual brewed coffees like the Chemix V60, Plunger, Siphon, Cold Brew and many more others. And still, these are also categorized under the immersion or power over method. So looking at ratios, basically what does this mean? This indicates this, how many times one number attains or contains in another. And basically this takes us to the fact that in most of the, the sectors that are in the hotel industry, like the kitchen, pastry, bar, or even the barista section, you are going to find these people using ratios when they are trying to come up with a cup of beverage or a plate of food. But let's look at our coffee side. When this question was being asked to me, I came up with a perfect calculation that's really going to help you have the perfect measurements when you are trying to break a cup of coffee. And just in case you're watching this video without a pen or book, please better hurry to get one because we are getting started. So as we get started, I believe most of you have seen my videos on how you can easily make our V60 plunger chemix and a and an aeropress. But when you are watching these videos, you are going to see that on the scale there are different figures. Let me say I it might be at 15 grams of coffee grounds, which is equivalent to 250 grams of water. But how do I come up with a 15 grams ending up with a 250 grams of water, which we are going to look at. So as I was coming up with this calculation, I first thought about the consumption of coffee and the consumption of water that I try to utilize in a single day. I came up with one kilo of coffee beans coffee beans and this is what I get to consume a day but to brew a cup of coffee out of these coffee beans I am going to need water so here I am going to write my water and I equivalented one kilo of coffee with one liter of water. I drew a table which comprised of coffee and water. I still asked myself how many cups of coffee can I brew out of one kilo of coffee? And on standard as we baristas can extract 60 cups out of one kg. 60 cups out of one kilogram and with the water I decided to turn this one liter to convert it to grams which gave me 1000 grams of water so here we are looking at 60 cups with 1000 grams of water and we are going to find the intermediate number between these two so we are going to look for Mr. X so how do we come up with Mr. X here we have 60 cups and 1000 grams of water. So let's equate it to one cup. But to brew one cup of coffee, how many grams of water do we need from the 1000 grams of water? That is the question left to be answered. So this is where Mr. X comes from. We have here 60 cups with uh, Mr. X equals to 1000 grams of water. So here we are trying to look for the amount of water we can place in one cup out of the 1000 grams. So we are going to divide this by 60, simple mathematics, by 60. And once we cancel out, we are going to remain with Mr. X, who is equivalent to, we remove this one zero, and once we say 100 divided by 6, it's going to give us 16.6666. So basically to brew one cup of coffee, out of the 1,000 grams, one needs 16.666. So the 16.6666 is our intermediate number between the coffee and water. So this becomes a ratio of one. One cup is equivalent to 16.666. If I have one gram of coffee, let's say this is our coffee. And this is our 
water. Remember this is our intermediate now. The 16.666 is our intermediate. So that means if I have one gram of coffee, it is equivalent to the ratio of 16.666. So this is the ratio. This is where the ratio that you've been asking for comes from. If I have 15 grams of coffee, If I have 15 grams of coffee, how much water do I need to brew a cup? This is where our intermediate is going to come in to rescue our 15 grams of coffee. We are going to get this 16.666 and multiply it with the 15 grams. So we carried the intermediate to multiply it with the 15 grams. And the answer here we are going to get is 240 9.9999 and if we round off this figure it's going to equate us to 250 grams of water so you get my point if i have 15 grams i am going to multiply it with a intermediate which is 16.666 so another barista is going to ask what if i have water what if i have 300 grams of water how how much coffee do i need what are we what are we going to do now here we bring our intermediate and divide him or her with the 300 so we're going to say 300 divided by 16.666 grams and the answer is going to be 18 grams of coffee you understand my point remember coffee when you have coffee grams you multiply it with the intermediate and once you have the grammage of water you just divide it with the int intermediate hi like you've seen in that video i believe many of you have learned something whereby many of you have been left with questions to ask but i would suggest that if you leave that question in the comment section below or still it in my instagram facebook or twitter pages where i can instantly reply back to all your questions that you have and just in case you are new to this channel or you've been watching my videos without subscribing i guess it's the high time you subscribe because where this video came many more are on their way see you in another video Bye.